people from out of state really, you know, look to New Mexico as a very serious player in the film industry. In 2015, the movie business brought in close to $300 million, and it created more than 23,000 jobs, putting New Mexico's industry professionals to work. It gives people the opportunity to allow their family to live in, and to live in this community, and so we're grateful not only from the business standpoint, we're grateful for our people. Among the most successful industries supporting film is hospitality. It's amazing what that money, a little bit of money the state's spending, how much it is returning to the state of New Mexico. At any given time, an army of filmmakers, including directors, producers, writers, and actors, take up semi-permanent residence in New Mexico. And while they're here working, places like the historic Hotel Andaluz become a second home. Gold with Matthew McConaughey, Independence Day 2 with Jeff Goldblum, um, Sicario with Emily Blunt. There have been literally dozens. Um, from all the major studios, MGM, Paramount, 20th Century. For the Andalus in general, it's, it's a huge impact. Um, it does represent a large part on the accommodation side of what we do, but we do see, see folks in Moss, we see um, rap parties, we see folks up in Ibiza. Um, this is actually, all those places are actually great places to people watch because of the, the folks that are kind of a constant stream coming through there from the film and television industry. With the growing need for top-notch homesteads and facilities, businesses like Klinger Constructors have enjoyed a variety of contracts born out of the industry's presence. We've been very lucky to work on many projects that are related to the film industry, a lot of them directly and many of them indirectly as well. Klinger Constructors has been instrumental in developing properties tied to film, including the I-25 Studios, the UNM School for Film, and Reels Channel, located on the campus of Albuquerque Studios. At a time when the New Mexico economy was struggling, the film industry was to help short here to help shore up the economy and provide, I would, I would say, in the neighborhood of hundreds of construction jobs related to retail, hospitality, and restaurants, easily. Among Klinger's latest projects is Hotel Chaco, located just north of film biz favorite, Hotel Albuquerque. It'll be a first class hotel, uh, one of the first luxury hotels built in this market. Uh, we'll be shooting for a five star level and um, I think it will be well received. The community deserves a property like this, so we're super excited to bring it to Albuquerque and to this community. Heritage Hotel's president, Adrian Perez, says that Hotel Chaco's existence is due in large part to the movies made in New Mexico. Well, the film industry not only has helped our industry at Heritage Hotels, but um, so many ancillary businesses. Hotel Chaco is going to service really that high-end clientele. And the film industry brings us kind of a myriad of groups, uh, both the high-end traveler, but also the sets and the crews. Um, and those uh, room nights that are generated throughout our company, not just here in Albuquerque. Chaco is going to be a direct result of, of a lot of the film uh, business that comes to this community, a lot of the higher end guests that come with those film crews. And a good portion of those filmmakers become New Mexico homeowners. 75%, maybe a little more, of my real estate transactions over the years have been film people. Crystal McLarney, a transplant of Los Angeles herself, says it's easy to see what draws industry professionals to the land of enchantment. People come here specifically to see, you know, what that special light is that DPs love so much and where these different locations are that this film was shot or that film was shot. So I think it's, you know, that that's part of like the appeal that the people give the state is kind of, you know, part of what makes it so great. Film's success in New Mexico is symbiotic with its population, and businesses like Southwestern Suites, the Studio Concierge, and numerous hotels are grateful for the relationship. As long as we can keep the support of our local government and lawmakers who um, we're very grateful to, to keep our tax incentives in place, then we should be in a good position to continue to bring a lot of jobs and growth to the state. The amount of revenue they generate, the the attention that the state gets um, from the film and television industry, it's, it's, I don't think you can really put a measure on it. It, it makes, it puts us on the map in a way we weren't on the map before. 